we know that the traffic uh, doubles every year. And um, what are what do you think are the limits to exponential traffic growth? Do you think this traffic growth will last forever? Well, forever is a very big word. Okay, I know that in our network, uh, it has been doubling every year for the past five years. Uh, I would say pretty much uh, since the smartphone become a, a, a major growth factor since maybe 2007, and we our traffic has grown 60 times. Okay, in five years, and. Since currently the smartphone penetration rate in uh, among our subscriber is still, I think, somewhere between 10 and 15 percent, there's still plenty of room to grow. So I don't see any stopping of that um, for the next five years at least. And whether it's longer than that, we'll see. But uh, uh, as far as uh, the traffic growth pressure on our current network, I, I think it will continue for quite some time. What are the challenges from operators' perspective? How do you respond to this uh, traffic growth? Um, certainly to carry um, such a um, high growth data traffic, uh, our capacity needs to grow. And together with that, our OPEX, our power consumption, uh, also uh, is, a con is a concern. So we really need to make our network much more energy efficient and green. And in addition, um, currently we are offloading some data traffic uh, to the Wi-Fi network we have built. Um, but uh, we are yet to figure out the proper fee model and business model in uh, addressing the traffic that has been offloaded to the Wi-Fi network. I think all in all, as operator, of course, we want to uh, provide more value to our customer. But uh, it needs to be, uh, there needs to be a proper balance between the cost and, and, and the value we provide. And currently, we see that um, our high value um, services, which is uh, the voice service, uh, are becoming less dominant with time. And the data eventually will exceed the voice traffic uh, per bit the data brings much lower value, uh, uh, revenue to our network. So it's an um, it's a, a issue that we need to address. Uh, last question. What are the trends in the traffic models? I mean, is it symmetric? Is it going uh, to become more symmetric? Or um, is there anything to address in this regard? OK, good question. Well, the mobile service, as you know, started with primarily serving voice uh, traffic and which is uh, a uh, basically a symmetric uh, traffic pattern. But uh, as the mobile internet become more and more prevalent and our mobile data is actually more and more asymmetric uh, in the network. And for that, I have to say that actually, luckily, we are a big TDD operators. And as you probably know that in the TDD network, the uh, asymmetry of traffic can be addressed a lot more easily.